sell chocolate bars to anyone who wants to buy them for a dollar. And then after we sell all the chocolate bars that we can, we um, round all the money up and then we go shopping for little kids who don't have the best Christmas that they deserve. This event started probably back uh, mid-1970s. They've always done something like this. The girls would sell candy and then we would have this party for the kids. Then each child is given a certain amount of clothes and some toys and then we also, there's enough money raised that we can then give them a food basket to take home because most all these kids, if not all, are all participants in the blessings in the backpack. And of course, with not, no school for the next two weeks, that's going to make it a little bit harder at home. It makes me really happy knowing that you get to change someone's Christmas, at least for five minutes as they open up their presents that they ask for on the sheet of paper that the parents fill out saying like what they want. It's, it's really heartwarming whenever you see like the little kids who don't get the Christmas that everyone can usually have, but you get to change their Christmas at least for a little bit. I hope they love it. They usually do. They're, they're usually so excited about it because this isn't something that they're used to getting. So it's a privilege to be able to give it to them. Just being able to know that we're helping them out at home and just knowing that we're giving them the Christmas that every kid should get. We have had some girls, they were recipients when they were in grade school, that later became players and they understood and they wanted to participate, they understood, so they had a chance to give back. I hope that we carry this on, the softball team carries this on for as long as we can because it really is amazing seeing like little kids open up the presents that they wanted. It still makes you feel good that you raised the money to spend on them.